I'm for him, he's against him. <laughs> Beto O'Rourke is proud. He tweeted out to the world how proud he is that he has an F rating from the NRA. <laughs> not a D minus, not a D, an F. And he's saying this is why you should vote for him. Well, you know what? I promptly retweeted him. <laughs> Listen, if you want a big government gun-grabbing liberal, well, the Democrats are giving you one. But here in Texas, we understand, we understand that you go after the criminals, you go after the bad guys, you lock up the criminals, and you protect the Second Amendment rights of law-abiding citizens. You know, I'm always a little nervous when I bring the Second Amendment up in a Texas crowd because I'm afraid they're going to pull their guns out and start shooting in the ceiling. <laughs> On Israel, in six years, I have worked day and night to be the leading defender of Israel in the United States Senate. And the contrast couldn't be starker because Beto O'Rourke has the most anti-Israel record of any Democratic Senate nominee in the country. Now let me give you some specifics. Let's not talk in generalities, let's talk specifics. In 2014, when Hamas was raining rockets down on Israel, Beto O'Rourke was one of eight, eight members of the House of Representatives to vote against funding Israel's Iron Dome missile defense system. Virtually every Republican voted yes. Virtually every Democrat voted yes. Nancy Pelosi voted yes. Maxine Waters voted yes. Beto O'Rourke was a no. He wouldn't stand with the people of Israel. How about immigration? The what? The what? The what? <laughs> there is no race in the country with a sharper difference on immigration than this Senate race here. On my end, I am, I am honored to have received the formal endorsement of the National Border Patrol Council, the union of the men and women that risk their lives securing the border and keeping us safe. And when those union sector presidents from all up and down the Rio Grande, when they came together in McAllen to endorse me, the reason they said they did, they said out of all 100 senators, the one who is consistently leading the fight to build the wall, to secure the border, and to keep America safe is Ted. <laughs> Beto O'Rourke, on the other hand, he opposes the wall. He says he thinks we have too many border fences and walls already, and we need to tear down the ones we got. He supports sanctuary cities. <laughs> On Kate's Law, he voted against Kate's Law. I'm the author of Kate's Law in the Senate. Beto O'Rourke voted against it. <laughs> and he has said he is, quote, open to, these are his words, open to abolishing ICE. When he was pressed on that, he doubled down. He said, well, maybe we shouldn't just abolish ICE. Maybe we should abolish the entire Department of Homeland Security. Look, that's just nuts. That, that, that is reckless. You want to understand the difference between me and Beto O'Rourke? I'll give you one very simple way to do it. He wants to abolish ICE. I want to abolish the IRS.
And Beto O'Rourke is the only Democratic Senate nominee in the country, the only one who has come out explicitly for impeaching President Trump. He has said he would vote yes today, right now, to impeach Donald Trump. Now, you know what? That is great. If you want to raise money from Hollywood liberals, there ain't nothing better. But that's not Texas. Look, Texas, the economy is booming. Texas, we have more jobs. Texas, wages are going up. Texas, young people are, are coming out of school with hope, with futures and opportunity. And what does he want to do? He wants to descend Washington into chaos and stop it all in its tracks. That doesn't make any sense. But despite the fact that he is running hard left, and you know, in Texas, usually a Democrat, at least pretends to run to the middle, at least pretends to be a moderate. Not in this race. He's running hard, hard left like Bernie Sanders, like Elizabeth Warren, and he's the number one Democratic fundraiser in the country. When he comes out and embraces left-wing views, you know, right now, a whole lot of it. <laughs> right now, Beto O'Rourke and I are having a disagreement over law enforcement because he accused police officers of being, quote, the new Jim Crow. And here's what he said. He accused police officers of suspecting, stopping, and shooting people solely based on the color of their skin. Now, I got to say, that kind of language, it is hateful, it is divisive. It is tearing us apart. And here's something important. It is a lie. The men and women of law enforcement each and every day stand up and risk their lives to keep us safe, to keep our children safe, to keep our communities safe. And I am proud to stand unequivocally with the men and women of law enforcement. These are common sense values that bring Texans together, that unite us, that make us stand as one. And this election presents a choice, a choice for Texas and a choice for the country. What direction are we going to go? Are we going to keep going in the way of more jobs, more freedom, more opportunity, more security? Or we are going to go back to the failed policies of the, of the Obama administration that didn't work and still don't work. So y'all aren't conflicted on that. Well, we've got a dynamic here in Texas. The hard left is angry. That means, number one, tens of millions of dollars are flooding into the state of Texas. As Hollywood liberals and liberals all over the country, they want to turn Texas bright blue. But number two, we are going to see record-shattering Democratic turnout in November. Now, here's the good news. This is Texas. And there are a whole lot more conservatives in Texas than there are liberals. So I want to ask everyone here to do four things to defend our great state. Number one, speak up. Use your voice and speak up for freedom. Speak up for why low taxes and low regulations and lots of jobs, why it matters. Why it matters that we secure the border. Why it matters that we protect the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. Young people, speak up for why it matters that you be free to control your life, not some unelected bureaucrat in Washington deciding how you get to live. Number two, contribute. This race, we are being outraised three to one. 
Tens of millions are flooding into the other side. So I want to ask everyone here, go home tonight. Go to our website. It's tedcruz.org. 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 Go to the website and make a contribution. Some of y'all have brought your checkbooks with you here today. By the way, for your young people, when you get home, you can Google what a checkbook is. <laughs> for those of y'all that have brought your checkbooks here, we can take them. Raise your hand if you can take a check. <laughs> All right, right here, this guy. Raise your hand high. This guy right here. By the way, I did that out in, out in East Texas. Three guys in the back of the bar, they raised their hand. I'll take a check. <laughs> but just give it to Eric. Give it right there if you can write a check right now. And I promise you, every penny we raise will go to informing, to mobilizing, to turning out common sense conservatives across the state of Texas. Number three, volunteer. Go and knock on doors, make phone calls, reach out to your community, put up a yard sign, speak out, and engage others. And number four, vote. Yeah. Vote and bring your friends, bring your family, bring your neighbors, bring your loved ones. Our freedom is under siege. Now... There's some on the left who think when you're under siege, the thing to do is curl up in a ball and hide. But that ain't Texas. When they come for our freedom, we'll stand up and say, come and take it. I was up a few weeks ago up in Amarillo. We were talking about the Second Amendment. An old rancher in the back said, come and take it. And this young liberal protester in the front wearing a Beto shirt said, oh, we will. That's this election. They want your freedom. But the people of Texas, we will not go quietly into the night. We will stand and defend our freedoms. We will defend the state of Texas. And we will defend the United States of America. And we're proud to stand together defending the Constitution of the United States. Thank you and God bless you.